Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Today, we're back out here at Lookout Landing for one goal only, and that is to hunt down Master Koga of the Yiga Clan. This is a quest we started a little bit ago, of course, and that's how we got the auto build, but there's more of him to chase around. You face Master Koga, head of the Yiga Clan in the Great Abandoned Central Mine. He plans to use the power of the Zonai to end the world with the Magnificent One. Could they be involved with Zelda's disappearance? Koga went to the abandoned, abandoned Gerudo mine. You can go there by following a nearby series of statues through the depths. So I figure, I don't know if it's something we'll quite get done today, but I wanted to at least get started with it because we went, where was it? The Great Abandoned Central Mine right over here. So that was our last location in the depths. I think I'll go there and then follow the statues until we get over here because we really haven't quite quite done anything over that way. So let's go to the Corridat Light Route and see how things go. So we're back here in the depths. Everything is so spooky, but we do have um, where we're supposed to be going sort of you know, marked out on our map. So I think we'll be fine. If we put this by most use, I figured we'd throw some of these light roots around eventually, but maybe not straight away. We have been here before to some extent. If we take a look at the hero's path mode, yeah, we stopped somewhere around there. So we just have to keep going this way and hope that we can find a statue or two. I mean, as it currently stands, I don't see anything like that is the concern, but I could probably ride this rail cart that might be a good idea. We're the Hylian Canyon Mine in Central Hyrule Depths. Okay, I'm gonna grab all of this then, all this po. Just like that. And uh, we'll start getting around. We'll probably just try to ride something on the minecart if possible. But I wanna build up as much po as possible because there's some of the other po brethren I need to find so that we can actually um, just get more gear and rewards from all that. I thought that'd be pretty cool. Oh, there's no minecart on the side. Huh, I was expecting there to be something. I mean, we'll keep going, but I was hoping we could ride a minecart because that seems like it would make it a lot easier, but I guess we can't do that. We can at least run down this way. Sometimes we'll discover more that way too. I mean, I wonder if this is maybe anything we can auto build. Or let's go up here. Oh, this is actually sort of a dead end. Whoa, I don't know if we're maybe not going in from the right way. What if we need to go in from this one? That might be the case. Okay, so if that is the case, I'll go through the minecart thing just in case maybe it does like transfer us over. There is also another light route over there. So we definitely haven't found that one, right? We haven't. So I think, actually, is that where we started? Uh, That is where we started, okay, never mind. Maybe I was just supposed to follow that. I, I didn't see that one before, so maybe we'll follow that in just a moment. I just sort of ran off towards the direction of the marker. So we'll do that in a second then. And I want to try to break our way through this. Is there going to be something on the other side? Or is it just a bunch of uh, goodies to get? Let's see. Ooh. Boom. Okay, there's a little bit more beyond that. But we'll get a lot of zonite for it. So I'll wait for uh, you know about to restore. There we go, there we go. Boom, broke through it again. <laughs> okay, there's not too much more beyond that, but a bunch of zonite is still pretty helpful. So yeah, I'll go ahead and just try to get back to that light route, and then maybe I can just go across this way. Didn't even think to look. So yeah, I believe we're supposed to follow these statues. These aren't the same statues that we saw before. These ones have like a sword. They look a lot more like a Hylian. So that does have me interested in what exactly we'll find in the depths now that we're following these statues. It just seems like it's an important thing to do. Okay. I do see a uh, another thing up there. I don't know if it's worth going for all of that right now. I figure for right now, my main focus is following these statues and if there's any light routes we spot, whoa, that is definitely a Yiga Clan thing. If we've spot any light routes, we should definitely get those because it just makes traveling throughout the depths a lot easier. Okay, gotta get up here. Just like this. Climbing's not so bad. And now it's facing that way. Okay. So I'm guessing, yeah, we'll probably run into a lot of Yiga Clan members. Can I ride this? I guess if I were to light up the fire, right? Or if I were to go like this, get a flame emitter. The only problem with this, though, is that it might not be the best thing. It really depends. There we go. Because uh, it'll just bring me straight up, which is sort of nice but I also want to go forward. <laughs> I'm just curious to see why it's here. I mean, if anything, it might be an easier way to get over to that. 
Whoa, are they flying something? Whoa, they are, that is so cool. Oh my gosh, I've never seen them do that before. Okay, so they're sort of keeping the perimeter, they're flying around, that's intense. So I'm gonna use Tulin to try to get over there. Maybe we can commandeer their ship or something. Yeah, they're, they're, they're just, they really are using the building to their advantage too. I see some people driving down this way. This is crazy. Okay, I've made it. There is like a little treasure chest room in there. This is wild. Okay, so they're over there. What if I were to just try to open it? I don't think I can. Maybe once we defeat all of the Yiga clan members in this area, this will open up. Did they notice me? They might have. I'll try to knock them off the ship here. Uh, not going super well. Maybe I could be a little bit more explosive with my strategy. Uh, almost, one more shot, let's do one more shot. Ah, that's tough, it's a moving target so it makes it really difficult. Um, I don't know if the rest have noticed me, it's making music like they have, but maybe I can just slow-mo it. There we go, making it much better and that thing goes straight down to the ground. But, oh, I guess they were the ones holding the seal. That's why they had that same symbol around them. We're not quite done though when it comes to battling. I do see you over here, gotcha. Nice, so we'll definitely grab all the goodies they dropped. Rupees, bananas, all the sorts. And since it's so dark, I think a light root seed here and there might make a difference. I don't see any other Yiga Clan members, but man, that was so cool. I definitely maybe tackled that in a way that was a little bit more advantaged than I think the game intended, but whoa, look at all this stuff. Is this like a store? It looks like it's supposed to be got some sun alliance. Safety first, transportation constructed from Zonai devices is convenient, but precautions must be followed. Familiarizing yourself with the following guidelines will re reduce the two most common causes of fatalities. One, keep your balance to avoid overturning the vehicle. If the vehicle is off balance, evacuate immediately. Two, protect the driver from all attacks. Even a simple arrow can threaten their ability to steer. Glory to Master Koga. Interesting. So it looks like, you know, they're, they're making some organized efforts here, for sure. I'm busting these open though. We'll get some, whoa, is this new? Yeah, what is this? The duplex bow. That's cool. So of course we've been having these like triple shotting bows, but now we have the duplex bow, a bow favored by the skilled archers of the Yiga clan. It's been engineered to fire two arrows at once to ensure your target comes to a swift and none too pleasant halt. That's really cool. So I probably don't need the phrenic bow. I can drop that, pick up the uh, duplex bow, and keep breaking some stuff over here. So it's well worth the break stuff. There might be some cool gear underneath. We get some arrows, a bunch more of the bright bloom seeds, and we can keep moving. I wanna check out more of these boxes we can break. I'm guessing we can't break these ones. Or any of this. I can hear the other Geeky Clan member who is driving the perimeter out there. Okay, grabbing all of this. I want as many arrows as I can get. We're back up to 100. I'm not seeing too much over here. Obviously all the cool gear they dropped and there's some more Zonai devices over here. So interesting that they've really been using them as much as we have. Wasn't there a, there was a ladder, but I guess the ladder didn't go all the way up, whoops. Guess I shouldn't have jumped off so soon. I wonder if I could just, uh, not quite. I think I'm too far against the, uh, the spire for that. Oh, that's not what I wanted, whoops. <laughs> I'll try to get up here though, and then we will get whatever chests were waiting for us. All right, we just barely made it up with our stamina. Let's open up this door. Whoa, so we get two chests. The first one is gonna have right over here, a large crystallized charge. Nice, 20 of them, so that's really nice. Uh, glad to have that. And then over here, we get a Yiga schematic, a scrawled schematic for a contraption made of Zonai devices and building materials. Looks like you can use auto build to store schematics and then build from them. Whoa, so we get a monocycle. The new design has been registered with auto build. That's so cool. Okay, so that's so interesting. I'm gonna try to build that in a moment once we get back out here. I do wanna try taking on this other person who is driving around, but I don't know quite where they are at the moment. I figure they have to drive around eventually, right? Once they do, I'll attack them, and then we'll try to build this monocycle. I'm so curious. And the statues are still over here, so we haven't missed any. Where did this person go? 
Okay, I don't quite hear them. We'll get going. If I do see them, I'll fight them. But in the meantime, oh, here they are. Here they are, they've noticed me. Okay, I'm sort of scared, actually. I'm, I'm <laughs> actually in the headlights of it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Boom, I got you pretty good, though. Look at this thing. This thing is like a machine of destruction. Um, and it has the little riding part in the back. I might just want to use that. But uh, let's try the auto build. Our new schematic, the monocycle. Whoa, I only need 15 for it, so. Boy, what is going on with this thing? This is crazy, so I guess just the forward momentum of it keeps it going up straight. Whoa, there's a dragon in here, too. That's so cool, awesome. So, pick up all of these. Get a bunch more, we're over 400 po now. So which dragon is that? I think it's the lightning one. Looks like it to me. Roche. Um, maybe we'll do that, maybe we won't. Where are the statues trying to tell us to go? It looks like straight over this way, but I have a feeling that, uh, let's hop back on. This is a bit of a drop, oh no, oh no. Oh, okay, that hurt a little bit. Oh, there's another light root down here. Oh my goodness, whoa. Okay, the light was very useful though, for sure. Can I pick up the Poe when I'm, I guess I can't. I can't pick up the Poe when I'm actually on the cycle. Okay, pick up all of these then. We're making our way down to that light route, so that will certainly be worth it. But I guess if we do lose this thing, we can always just find another. That's always useful. And ooh, what weapon is over there? Oh, that's a new one. I don't have the Traveler's Claymore, so let's go ahead and get a picture of that. Um, and then I definitely wanna pick it up then. Um, if I take a look at my other weapons, what can I maybe toss for it though? Do I need to toss anything for it? No, I have one slot, so we should be good. All right, definitely get it there and take that then. And boom, Traveler's Claymore Sparkle. A basic two-handed sword once wielded by aspiring adventurers. Its immense weight can knock enemies' shields right out of their hands. Cool. So there's the light route, we're almost there. I'll hop back on our bike and we'll keep heading over. So, where did the bike go? Right over here. Uh, Okay, can I not control it? I think it's too knocked over. Maybe if I were to do this. Oh, it, it gave me a chance for a second. And then I went away. <laughs> come on. It's a little tricky to get it going. Okay, come on. There we go. We got it. And I'm just gonna ride right down here. Whoa. There's more stuff we can build with over there if we needed to, but I'm gonna leave it. Oh. And then right over here. Come on, ready? And we got the Kawatic Light Route of Gerudo Highland Depths. Cool. Let's examine this one and see what we can do. So that will clear up a lot of this area, which is good. Eventually, I'm gonna have to find all of the light routes within the depths. It's gonna take some time though, of course. So I'm just hoping that we can get that done eventually. And this will definitely be a big step in that. But there we go. Oh, it's such a fancy little animation. A lot of you pointed out that uh, the light routes always seem to be directly under a shrine, so I guess we can always look for that. If it seems like we can't find a light route, it might just be good to, to reference what's going on on the surface. But there we go. This one gets cleared out pretty well. Wow, that was so much, actually. The light route dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. So I think that one circular area was actually what we just explored with the Yiga clan. Pretty cool. All right, so we're back to following the statues. Okay, I think we're good just to hop right back onto the cycle. The bike, oh no, the steering isn't always the best, but I guess with a little bit of back and forth, we can get to where we're going, maybe. Uh, too steep of a hill there, but we can just get up over here. <laughs> no, come on, it really is tough to steer. I think that I might just wanna leave this one. Yeah, okay, well, we'll go back to this normal traveling for now, just for a little bit, because sometimes it's even better for us getting situated, especially if I wanna climb up stuff like that, which I think I do. Because once we climb up stuff, we can get a better idea of like what's going on, where we can go. So I'm hoping that I can just ascend through this. Whoa, okay. Maybe I can't, maybe I can't, maybe I can't. Uh-oh, <laughs> not good. Um, I guess we're falling down here now. I don't see too much that we can do from here, but I can at the least hit a bright bloom seed against the wall somewhere to really light things up. I guess we can land next to this statue that has a traveler sword. Um, I can't quite pick it up at the moment, but if I were to toss something, maybe. 
Um, I don't know if there's anything I want to toss at the moment though. I'll leave it, there's plenty of these around. Okay, grabbing all of these. And then another one over there. That was actually pretty good. And I guess over this way? There is yet another sword over here. Not what I wanted. Uh, there we go. I think it might be another Traveler's Claymore. Or at the Grand Grenage Canyon Mine. Uh, okay. That went way down. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, another Traveler's Claymore. Uh, I'm definitely getting a little bit off the mark here, I think. So we were supposed to be up there. So I might have to sort of recenter a little bit. If I take a look. Oh yeah, and I really haven't been this place too much on the surface. So I, I really haven't, don't even know what this is. So a little bit of a mystery for now. Inside of this thing though, maybe we'll find something. Okay, it's just a normal cage, but I sort of want to use it to go up if possible. Uh, I'm hoping this doesn't just bring me straight to the surface, but instead on top of this little hill, hill that we're on. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, where am I now? Uh, that did not bring me. <laughs> okay, that was silly. That was really silly. We'll head over here though, and just start climbing. I have my climbing gear on anyways. I might as well just get to it, just like that. Okay, run a little bit to restore our stamina. Keep it moving. Because we're definitely getting a little bit more off on where I had intended to go. Is there something over here though? Uh. Sort of. A little underpath, not really too much, but we do get a little muddle bud. And over here, these are the uh, puff shrooms. I definitely need more of these, because I just haven't been finding too many of them. So many places to go in the depths. It's crazy, because it just, it feels like a whole extra game down here <laughs> that we get to play. It's just crazy how much of a bigger game this is than Breath of the Wild in so many ways because of that. Okay, I wanna head up here. We'll run over this way. Keep getting up. This has gotta lead to something at some point. I'll just do this. <laughs> that might be a little bit easier. But it feels like we're sort of running into a wall. I don't know where the statues went. Okay, there's a statue over there. And the statue's pointing off in that direction, but there's a light route there. It's the light route I found before. So, um, maybe I'm not getting as much done as I thought. <laughs> How am I supposed to head over this way? Is there still more up there? It's just so hard to tell. Okay, let me actually shoot it up there. Boom. Okay. It looks like there might be. That's gonna add be a tough climb. Oh no, I lost my golden heart. That sort of sinks. I'll keep trying though. I mean, maybe I should switch. I feel like, you know what? Maybe we should go back. We should switch to the balloon. We should get that out with auto build. Maybe that'd be better. I might be able to find more that way. So yeah, obviously with all this stuff over here, I was supposed to go up. Whoa, wait a minute, there's somebody over here. Hey, I didn't see you before. Sonai devices? Sonai devices here as well. What's up? Yeah! You, you, you surprised me. Don't do that. I thought you might have been from the Yika clan for a second. Hurry up and get your research clothes on. Huh? You don't have research clothes? Wait. Are you in the Giga clan? Uh, sure am. <laughs> you dare claim to be a part of our clan? Absurd! Your life is mine. <laughs> oh no. Here we go. So let's go ahead and fight you. Gotcha, that was pretty good. And then, gotcha again. <laughs> Luckily, they get pretty easy to beat. I don't wanna be in this stuff, but I wanna pick up all this, especially since they dropped a lot of rupees there. We do lose a heart from it, but is there anything else going on around in this direction? Can't believe I missed all that, but there is a lot of Poe I can grab at the least. So I'll do that super quick and then we'll head up because I think we're supposed to use the balloons to fly upwards. What is over on that little statue though? That is just a traveler spear, which we have. So I will ignore it for now. Hey, uh, not what I wanted. Can I hop off? Thank you. And then I'll grab a little bit more over here and then just be done with it. Whoa, 450 of it now. That's pretty cool. So I think we'll need to get another flame emitter, unless we can find one at this little station. Um, and then we'll just use that to climb all the way up here. 
a little bit easier. Okay, so any flame emitters here? Yeah, those are definitely flame emitters, so we'll be good with that. Unless I wanna do this the speedy way and just use a rocket instead. Maybe we'll do a little bit of both, just for the fun of it. I'll attach this here. And I'll attach one on the other side too. And then just get going with it. Just like that, right over like this. We'll make a super launcher. I don't think we need the fans or anything like that, but I could just grab one of these now, just in case none of that works out. I can at least still slowly fly up with this. Okay, that wasn't good. Put that right there. Okay, that should be good enough. I would like to get going, so I'm just gonna hit it. Boom, and off we go. All right, yeah, this is great. This is so good, exactly where I needed it to be. So much better than climbing, so much better. And look at all the po we get as a reward for just getting up here. Definitely good to have. We're about to reach 500 of it at this rate, so that's also good. I haven't found any of the extra statues, but there are some marked on the map. Sort of, actually no, that's another thing. That's not the statue, that's the, uh, some of the hidden treasures. I don't know if they're miscos or what, but I think that's the case. Anyways, the statue is telling us to go over here. It looks like I might have to continually travel upwards. Seems like it, so I will just try to just, Wow, well, look at me. <laughs> I don't know how I just did that, but um, we'll just continue to try to get up here and see where it gets us. Okay, a little bit more climbing and boom. It's still pointing us in this direction, so I think we're doing the right thing. And what are we doing up here? I will fire another one since we definitely need the light. And there's another statue just hidden in the darkness. I'm definitely also looking for other Yiga Clan hideouts because that was really fun to explore and I would like to find more like it. But uh, as it currently stands, I had this statue here pointing us in this direction, but over there I do see another statue pointing us sort of in a different direction. So maybe it'll have a sort of turn soon? Not really quite sure. Oh, hey. Uh, yeah, okay, it's telling us to go this way now. I see, I see. And there is another light route in the distance. So I definitely wanna find that. But what is with this giant building? Whoa. This isn't a temple, I don't think. But we are right under that giant maze thing, whatever that is. So maybe South LeMay Depths Labyrinth. I wonder. Hi, there you go. I wonder if we were to do something up on the surface in this area, the labyrinth, maybe we could open up something down this way too, because this thing is really sealed up. I don't see much of a way to get inside for the time being, but that is definitely something to investigate. I'm really, really curious. What do we gotta do here? It looks like we would use that to fly over. Yeah, I might as well try it. Just because I don't want to fall into my doom here, we, we definitely want to get over there if we can. So I will turn this around. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, that wasn't good. And then we just need a controller and a fan on it, and I think that would be enough for us to just get where we're going. Okay, let's see if this is enough. We're moving. I think it will be. Because I just want to go straight, oh, whoa, straight over if we can to that. I'll send you no bow over. Maybe that'll light some stuff up. It doesn't, <laughs> not at all. But from here, you know, just a little bit closer to the light route. We're almost out of battery too. So maybe good timing. I'm gonna sort of crash right over here. I know that there's something over here because uh, I can tell that the uh, Poe is over this way. So we'll just leave it like that. Get an extra bomb flower too. Don't mind if I do. Oh, and there's another light route on the back end of that that I didn't see before. So I'll definitely have to try to get there at some point. And then is that another one? It is. So I'm spotting out a lot more of them, and that's great. For the time being now, I want to, ooh, find something new. We got ourselves a uh, Gerudo Scimitar Sparkle. <laughs> All right, so obviously when it's sparkly, that means it's not affected by the gloom, but that's really cool. 
Gerudo Scimitar, the most commonly used sword in the Gerudo region, adapting a material greatly enhances the material's power, but doesn't add as much durability. So I definitely wouldn't mind having that, maybe more than a Royal Broadsword, yeah. especially since we can find that just about everywhere. Um, so I'll try that Scimitar instead. Okay, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to throw the thing I selected. <laughs> that was really silly. Um, yeah, I'm glad we're finding new stuff like that too. Now up here, I can already see it where we're chasing after another Yiga clan kind of thing. Whoa, hey, there's a lot of them over here. Uh, what if I just, there we go. <laughs> Made it a little bit more efficient. That seems like it was a good idea. Get a lot of uh, Zonite for it. Okay, we're good. Let's keep it moving. So I wanna get to that one light route first. But whoa, there's a Yika Clan tent here. Oh no, don't throw that. That would be a bad idea. Yeah. But this, I can definitely throw. What's going on over here? Uh, I mean, I guess I thought it was a tent, but maybe it's not. Uh, are you a clan one? No, this is definitely, because it just says her name is Researcher. And there was another one behind me I didn't see? Ugh, are, are you here to help? Please, this is misery. I'm covered in gloom. I need a Sundalion. Uh, I've got one here. Mm. Ah, I'm saved, thank you. Thank you, you're a real lifesaver. This area is riddled with gloom, and I stepped right into it. One touch of the gloom will eat away at your vitality. Be sure to keep yourself, keep a safe distance. Aww. If the gloom does get you, you should go either go up to the surface or use the sun to line as soon as you can. I've heard rumors that the light of those giant trees can help too. Uh. Though I suppose that's neither here nor there, because the gloom won't even have the chance to do you in. Huh? Prepare to die, Link. Oh no. All right, let's give this a try then. And I'm just gonna go ahead and try to hit you. Oh, you're gonna dodge me. Let's switch to a weapon that's maybe a little bit more useful. I wanna use some more of these spears. Uh, there you go, gotcha. <laughs> Making quick work of you. Give me all those rupees and I guess we'll check out whatever contraption you had here. This looks neat. And then also break this stuff. We'll do the spiked iron ball hammer. There we go, all this stuff. There's so much gloom over there. Well, or not gloom, uh, Poe over there. Huh. <laughs> Ow, <laughs> that's not what I wanted. <laughs> yeah, this one's huge over here. This is not working. I thought it would. Um, weird. Maybe if I were to put it onto the gloom, maybe the gloom's slippery. slippery. Okay, there we go. Now we're moving. I just want to head over there, but also, you know what? I should do this first. Make a little turn happen. Um, I'm a little bit nervous I'm about to fall into a pit or something, because I cannot see at all, but it looks like we're making it. All right, ready, and the Amakawis light route. Okay, calm down, slow down. Uh, let's get over here and activate this one. And this might be a good opportunity to start, you know, going off and finding more of the light routes, but I guess for right now, we'll just Get this one all situated so that we can see a little bit more here in the Gerudo Highlands depths. Would that mean it's the Gerudo Lowlands though? All right, so there's another one done. We have a lot to do in this area if we do want to clear it out. All right, good stuff. I don't think I had too much gloom affecting me. But more than that, it lights up the area, it clears up more space on our map. A pretty decent chunk too. So this can always help you sort of figure out which light routes are where just by following the darkness, really. Because we have that one way over in that direction, which I definitely have not found. It looks like it would be closer to the other light route though. But for right now we have this giant situation here, and if it has a new schematic for me, then I really wanna go check this out. So, I'll try to find a way into it, find a way over. For right now, it's a little tricky. I think I probably wanna climb up on these rocks. Got it. Just trying to find like a proper entrance to this whole thing. What is that? Whoa, look at this thing. It's like a, a garden, or a guardian thing, okay. It's like, will it attack me? 
So far, no, it doesn't look like it. I mean, it's like keeping watch. I'm just gonna turn it off for now, just so it's not really much of a liability to me. But, oh, here we go. So if I were to hit them, it turns them off, making it a lot safer to travel. Grab the ladder, there you go. That's very cool. And there's another one way up there. This is crazy. So I think I'll have to continue doing that same thing. If I wanna make my way through this, it's like a spy mission. We're performing a great heist. So cool. What's going on up here then? Uh, and this one's sort of a dead end. I guess maybe from here I could, if I get close enough, maybe grab it, not quite. Huh. I mean, from here I could get to some of these other ones. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and then from down this way, I can just turn this one off myself. There you go. And I guess if I wanna be even faster with it at times, I could try to ascend, but the platforms aren't always directly above me. There you are. Hey, did they, I guess they didn't see me there. Are they okay? That sounded painful. Yikes. I don't know how they didn't see me or just didn't think to do anything. That was so silly. All right, going up here. I hear more stuff flying around. Hey, hey, watch it. They tried to get me just for a moment. Oh, we have a lot of stuff up here. This is great, actually. I'll go ahead and break some of that. If not anything else, I just want a couple more arrows, which is exactly what we got. And then I guess from there, are they gonna fly through this way? I guess not. I do wanna get onto this side as soon as I can, because they're about to fly through right there. Oh, wait. Uh-oh, they noticed me. Okay, now I can't quite reach. That's okay, that's okay. We'll leave that. I'll read this. This is another Yiki Clan notebook. Some of the huge roots growing from the ceiling have glowing cores. We have been using them as landmarks, but they may have an additional use, recovering vitality lost to the gloom. This light appears to have a mysterious healing effect. That feels like being back on the surface. Unfortunately, the small amount of light is very weak. We are investigating whether the effect can be strengthened. If this research goes well, it may even be the end of carrying Sunderlands. Glory to Master Koga. Interesting. So good to keep that in mind. I'm sort of going in a big circle here, but I guess I could have ascended before when I was back at this one spot. That's okay though, because it sort of worked out in the end. I need to climb up here though, because I think this is where a reward for defeating that one guy is. Yes, it is for sure. So I'll open this up and inside we find to the left, Another large crystallized charge, which I don't know if I've read this description, a large piece of crystal made by co condensing zonite charges process from zonite equal to 20 crystallized charges. And then over here, what do we get out of this one? Another Yiga schematic. Okay, so this time, the beam turret. So utilizing the thing we just took on, that's interesting. So maybe we could use that to fight off enemies later on. In the meantime though, grab an extra arrow or two. And then over here. I hope I get a good bundle. Uh, yeah, I got a time send there, that's great. So now we're back up to um, 102 arrows. I still need to continue in that one direction, so I guess for now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you welcoming visitors? Because I would like to hop on top of there, but I don't know if I'll be able to get to it. Ah, it's gonna glide off. <laughs> Unfortunate. I really wanted to get on top of that and then just ride it to our next destination. Looks like we'll be doing it the old fashioned way which, you know what, that's fine with me. Plenty of stuff to find around here, I'm sure, so hopefully we can make a few discoveries along the way. But we are getting sort of closer, sort of, kind of. We got a lot more to go. So I will try to get over that way as much as I can. Out of stamina now. This might be where it's good to auto build a new vehicle, actually, just because. So I think out of all these schematics, the best one right now is still that cycle. So let's try the mono cycle, put it right here, and then I will get back to driving around. And if this saves us, saves us a little bit of energy, then that's great. Because I do see a light route straight ahead, and another one, and another one. All right, cool. And then what about that there? I don't know. Did, no, wait a minute, whoa! 
Worst time ever to be distracted. We got another Scourge of the Depths here, which I haven't fought this one specifically, right? So, I mean, I guess might as well try to go for you. This is scary. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Don't eat me. Don't eat me. Oh my gosh. Gotcha. Oh, that was huge, actually. Now I need to run up there as soon as I possibly can to start destroying those things up there. I mean, I think this thing is gonna be pretty tough to beat, but we can maybe... Come on, that was, ooh, so much damage. And then while we're way up here, we know what to do. We're gonna do this, we're gonna switch to a triple shot bow with this Lionel bow. And then, that didn't work, hold on. Um, Here we go. Ooh, try that again. Now do not eat me, don't do it. Gotcha, okay, so they're gonna be knocked out again. We need to run over there, but let my stamina restore too. And then if I can just get on top and start fighting these things again, and then one more right over here on the tail. Boom, we got it. All right, the Scourge of the Depths, the frocks defeated again. Very cool. Oh man, we get a lot of goodies for that. Let me first things first, not explode. Yes. I'm guessing I have photos of all of this, you have the frost, frock's bone and fang and everything. Um, very nice, very nice. Let's see a little bit more over here. I'll try to grab that. And I guess with that, we are continuing to move forward. I wanna to get to that light route, but there's plenty more in the distance. I definitely will have to come back to get this. I feel like that we're gonna have entire episodes focused on just uh, exploring the depths and getting as many light routes as possible. Same thing you know with like shrines too. We're gonna to have to find episodes where we just find shrines everywhere. Okay. The Zonite is more of an important resource than ever before for me. So that is another Yiga Clan thing. So whenever I see those, I wanna to try to get to them too so that we can get more schematics. I certainly haven't been to that one, but I feel like it would be a better idea to get to that first. Yeah. Can I light this up a little bit just to see the way? It looks like it. It's, it's right over there. So we'll try that and then maybe I'll turn back for it or maybe I'll save it for some other time. I'll have to wait and see. Right now, I will get over here. And this is where, of course, you know, this is so, so useful. I can tell exactly where I've been and where I haven't been. So whenever I'm curious of, oh, have I explored this? I just have to look at the map and I can say with certainty whether or not I have. Such a useful upgrade to have for sure. I honestly, I think it might be one of the most underrated just because of that. Okay, we are almost at the slate route. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bomb flowers, definitely want those. And another one of these. What does that one have up there, though, is the question. It looks like it's just a traveler sword. I'll save it for now. Did they see me? They might see me. I'm running out of giant bright bloom seeds. They're dancing around, they're being silly. Okay. Lots of Poe over here. Oh, it looks like they're working away over there. I'm just gonna leave them to it, just because we, we, we're already up to so much today. I don't wanna drag it on if we don't have to. I don't think there's too much more I have to do here. If I can just run right over and grab this, it might be the better idea so I don't waste more Bright Bloom Seeds than I need to. Seeing how this will light up the area just fine. So I'm almost there. The Mihid Kick Light Root. Some of you let me know that they are the names of the shrines that they are under, but reversed, so I guess Somewhere up on the surface, there is the Chim Chim Shrine, or whatever that would have been backwards, which is pretty cool, I like that idea. So this is gonna light up. And another area cleared because of that. We'll see for ourselves exactly how much of the map, there's a lot of light routes around, so I can only imagine it won't light up as much as it normally would, but maybe I'm wrong. So, we're way over here. I mean, no, that's still a decent chunk if you ask me. I feel like the light routes we see are farther than I'd expect though. Okay, so if I take a look, we're almost there. We're getting super, super close. We also passed sort of the entry point, which we've been to the surface of. This is where the dragon would pop out of a lot. So it's cool to get that area cleared up if we're looking for the dragon again at some point. But for right now, it looks like I need to head in this direction. What is that? That is very well lit, so that could be something of interest later on. 
Um, for now though, lots of enemies over this way. They're sort of in my path this time, so maybe I'll go for it. At least not get a couple of them. Let's switch to a bow that, uh, yeah, not this one. We'll do this. Okay, well I didn't mean to have that, but I just wanna knock out. Uh, oh no, you don't, don't play that horn. I think they played the horn. Okay, uh-oh, not good, not good. Uh, I think it's time for an explosion. Boom, that's gotta have done something, right? Send some of them flying. I do see a lot of enemies over here, so I just want to knock one out, switch to a weapon that's maybe a little bit more usable for this scenario, like the Master Sword. Um, gotcha. Definitely need to be getting more use out of the Master Sword, just because it's such a nice weapon to have. Okay, picking up all these goodies, and then I wanna get up there. Oh, well, at least I was going to, but our friends dealt with it pretty nicely. I will boom, boom, boom. Get all this for extra arrows. So many extra arrows, that's great. Uh, and then around the corner here, I'm sure there's more of the monsters waiting for us. Or not. Uh, okay, the music left and then came back. I wanted these arrows or whatever they might have dropped first. Oh no you don't, come on, get out of here. Do not appreciate that. Okay, okay. I know you're firing stuff at me. I'm gonna fire it right back. There we go. And then with all of this, oh there we go, decent bundles for sure. I think that was all of them? Yeah, okay, and because of that we do get a treasure chest too. What's inside of here? Giant bright plume seed times five, so I was complaining about how I was running out of those. Not anymore. Okay, and then over this way, boom, got this a little bit. Plenty more zone night. Okay, I think we've cleared this area out pretty well. There's clearly something going on here with a potential battle with Master Koga or something. I didn't know if we, if we were gonna get here in time, but it seems like we have for just one episode. Okay, not that, but I do wanna fire off another giant bright bloom seed just in that direction. Ooh, got the attention of some monster, a little baby frox. What's up here? Travor sword again. Okay, I'm going to leave them be just because we have bigger things to do, like grab this pow. But they might be chasing me. No, okay, they're still distracted by the light. That's so cute. They are sort of adorable when they're not gigantic and trying to eat me in one gulp. Okay, continuing this way, I didn't really mean to do the lightning, but there is certainly some kind of structure over here that we gotta deal with. Okay. Yeah. Lighting it up again. We have another statue here, but then the the red glow of a large Poe. Whoa, look at this area. So we're certainly gonna run into something exciting. We got the Grand Poe, which gives us 20 of them. And we'll throw out one yeah. more, just to get us where we're going. We're almost there. So will, will Master Koga be here? The abandoned Gerudo mine in the Gerudo Desert Depths. Whoa. Oh, there he is. Let me get a quick picture of him. Master Koga, <laughs> doing whatever he's doing, because I didn't get that before, so I'm I'm glad to get it now. Awesome. Hey there, Master Koga. You, you doing okay? He's trying to make it work. Come on, do something. Hmm? It's the right hand, right? So why isn't this working? You back there, take over for a while. Uh, uh, hi. <laughs> He's recognized us. Huh? It's you again? So, Link, you just had to follow me here, didn't you? I'm going, I'm doing what you did, exactly, but it refuses to work. You tricked me. I won't stand for this. You wasted some of my time, but no more. I'll battle you, I'll beat you, and I'll steal that power back from you. Prepare yourself. Oh no. Whoa, in the arena too. Look at this one. That's the headlight and everything. So we're battling the, Liga, or the leader of the Yiga clan, Master Koga again. Ooh, okay, you know what? Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work too much. He's soaring above our heads. You know what? Two can play at this game, you know that? I can auto build my own stuff here. Um, what do I wanna build though? What if I set up this new beam turret? 
uh, I'm a little scared. So I'll just like, I'll set this up then I'll activate it and maybe it'll fight him. Where did he go? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I actually, oh, there he is. Oh, I almost got him with that. I need to get up there somehow. Maybe I should just auto build. Hold on. Something else. What did I build recently? These are my schematics, this is my history. If I do this Rocco one, here we go. I'm getting up there one way or another, buddy. I hope you know that. Here we go. Whoa, okay, maybe a little too high up. But now that I'm here, I can just get over this way and deal with you. Are you ready for this? I don't think you are. Oh, that's gotta hurt. And I'm gonna knock you all the way down with it too. There we go, oh my gosh. Okay, get over there fast, get over there fast. Come on, everybody. We need to hit you with everything we got. So why don't we try this uh, Silver Lysel Spear? And then as soon as you get up, I will freeze you with the Sapphire Staff. That didn't work. Okay, and it broke. Um, That's all right, we've switched back to the Spear. Where are you gonna go now? Ooh, back on your thing, huh? Don't worry, because I'll just do this again. Ow, Never mind. no! Okay, that was scary. He's really trying to blast me now. Watch it. All right, this is not good. This is not good. Um, I need to get over there fast. Right here's maybe my only opportunity. If I go like this and I hit him like that. Oh, that's gotta hurt. All right, get over there fast, but now he got knocked out. Where is he now? Uh, he's back on it again? Oh, darn, I definitely missed the time. He's got a shield. Uh-oh, okay, time to build, time to build. I'm getting another one out right here. It's, it's expensive, but we, we got it. We got the materials. Um, Come on, go, go, go. I don't have much time. Whoa. Oh yeah, he's got this like perfect little shield in there now too. He's like encapsulated. I wanna try to land on it. I don't know if that's a good idea. There we go, I'm just gonna do that. Hit him on his way down. It might actually be my best chance. <laughs> Hi, uh, we're face to face in slow motion. There we go, that really wasn't that bad. He's gonna land on top of this thing. Oh, we got you good. That was great. Ugh, blah. This place has too much sand. You're only winning because it keeps getting in my eyes. So I'm going to let you off easy again. That hunk of junk construct wasn't responding anyway. Change of plans. Operation Steal the Ancient Power is over. I quit. I thought that power might make things easier, but it's just icing. I'm after cake. We've been collecting a mighty power source scattered all across this land, crystallized charges. And we're going to use them to restore an unstoppable weapon for the man himself, the Magnificent One. Once we do, we'll grant his wish for the end of the world. So, we don't need the power you stole. Our collection of crystallized charges is well underway, and the restoration of, of the final weapon is close at hand. We've already stripped all the resources here. If you want this empty shell, you can have it. I'm going to be swimming in crystals at the Eastern Abandoned Mine. All right, well, see ya. Whoa, look at that one. That one's cool. Now away I fly. He's such a character. So it looks like our Master Koga chase isn't quite finished, but we do get a treasure chest. Greetings. Oh, hello. Thank you for driving out the trespassers. I overheard your conversation. You spoke loudly enough that it was difficult not to. The Eastern Abandoned Mine that man spoke of is most likely the Abandoned Lanairu Mine. It is extremely far from here. You will not find stone guideposts to it in this area. I suggest ascending to the surface first. You may be able to find a chasm leading there in the region to the east. There are two chasms in the region to the east that contain stone guideposts leading to the abandoned Lanairu mine. I recall a chasm on land in the Lanairu wetlands. There is also one south of here in, the, in a mountain range. There is one other thing before you resume your journey. Whoa. My associate over there manages Schema Stones. You may want to ask for one. Whoa. So an update for Master Koga of the clan. You successfully drove Master Koga from the abandoned Gerudo mine and learned his true aim. He plans to restore a powerful weapon for the man himself. 
pursue Koga to the abandoned Lanairu mine, a line of statues stretching from one of the chasms either in the Lanairu wetlands or amidst the mountains south of there will guide you to the mine. All right, so we'll definitely be doing that soon enough, but I guess for now we'll talk to you. The Eastern Abandoned Mine, that man spoke of is most likely the Abandoned Lanairu Mine. It is extremely far from here. Okay, so yeah, we'll definitely do that at some point and take care as you go. Do I have a picture of you? I do now, okay. Uh, let's go over here and open up this treasure chest and we'll talk to their associate. We'll get a huge crystallized charge, a complete crystal made by condensing zonite charges process from zonite, equal to 100 normalized crystal, crystallized charges, or normal crystallized charges, very cool. I also wanna read this little notepad. I'm hungry. All this turnover has led to a supply shortage in the basis. Do you know how hard it is to find a banana? The depths are a complete wasteland. Nothing around here seems in the least bit edible. You'd think that everyone would take that seriously and respect the ingredient and food stock, but no. That wretched new recruit ate a whole shipment of bananas the moment I took my eyes off of them. From now on, I'm keeping my own supply. Glory to Master Koga. <laughs> Yikes, seems tough down here. So let's go ahead and activate you, because I think that's what he was trying to figure out maybe? Hard to say, but uh, authorizer verified. Welcome. This was once a busy refinery where a great deal of zonite was processed. My task here is to manage designs for mining equipment. Please hold one moment. I have confirmed that there is a schema stone you do not yet have. Allow me to rectify that. We got another schema stone. These stone slabs depict schematics of things such as Zonai vehicles. Auto builds, auto builds saves the schematics and builds it on command. Whoa, so this one, oh, it's like a nice little uh, hovercraft. Cool. I will also prepare the parts required to test it via auto build. All right. I'm curious about one other thing. Do you know what auto build will do if you have insufficient parts? Tell me, AutoBuild will not be able to manufacture an object if any of its component parts are missing, but Zonite can help with this. You can supplement missing parts by using Zonite to mimic their form and properties. Keep in mind that they are temporary parts created by the AutoBuild ability. You cannot use them for other purposes. They will vanish when you disassemble the creation they were intended for. I assure you that they are useful despite these limitations. I hope that you find your own purpose for them will do. Okay, so in the meantime though, I do see some extra stuff to grab over here, a couple more bananas, and uh, whatever is gonna be in these boxes. It looks like a bunch of arrows, so I will grab everything I can. And I guess we'll try to auto build this stuff then, just so that I can see how it works. Um, The hovercraft, right over here. Very cool, and I guess just put that down wherever we need it. I don't know if I quite need it at the moment, but we could use that to ride in that direction, which sort of has me curious. That's cool and all, but probably stuff to save for later. There is a light route somewhere around here, way up that way, that I do wanna get to. Maybe that's what I could do, is ride that over there and ascend upwards. But let's go ahead and activate you and see what we can get going with this. Authorizer verified. Hi. Welcome, I am a forge construct. I process zonite here into other materials. Zonite? Zonite is a substance that can be mined in great quantities in this land. I am capable of processing this substance and converting it into a variety of things. Here, allow me to show you what can be processed from Zonite. These are materials that have been processed from the ore. I'm willing to accept Zonite in exchange for pr processed materials. Cool, okay, we know all about that, so I think we can just keep on going and just get as many of these as we can. Um, I'll take them all for 90, sounds great. All that are available, yes. Any pieces, okay, great. And then we have these super large pieces. Um, I'll take them all, require 15, which I have, so there we go. That's fantastic, so we're jumping way up to 500 and something, so I'll definitely have to get the battery upgraded soon. Um, but in the meantime, we have this thing built over here. I might as well go check it out and see if this is maybe a way to get over to the one light route. That'd be the last thing I'd like to do here. So just gonna hop up, control it, and get moving. It will not work on a flat surface like this, I think. I think it just needs a little bit of traction. Yeah, it seems like that's maybe what it's looking for in that way. But we'll keep going over here and I'll at least see, it looks like that's a treasure chest. Yeah, okay. 
Come on, keep going, keep going. And now I can hop off. I will open this up. And inside is another large crystallized charge. That'll be 20 extra. Then I wanna get up here and see. That brings me here. And that's all it's gonna do, unfortunately. I was hoping for more. Cause I know that there's a light route up there. That's the last light route I wanna get. I guess for now we just gotta climb. That's okay. We can definitely get the climbing. I have the climber gear on still, so. Shouldn't be too big of a deal, I would hope. I get up here. And there it is, ready and waiting for us. This should light up a whole bunch of stuff around you, I would imagine. And I'm guessing at some point what might be the most productive thing would just be to build a flying machine and just travel around as much as we can and just get stuff done that way. But we've got the Gona Toyros light route here. This will be our last one of today. Light this area up. We'll have to return to this area at some point to get more of the light routes, of course, but this was definitely a good step forward in uh, making progress throughout the depths. The more we explore down here, the more I'm figuring it out, and that's always good. So let's see how much of the map that we got uncovered with this one. But so far, it seems like the, you know there's just so much to do, and that's great. It's both exciting, but also a little daunting. All right, there we go. And that'll clear up a little bit more of our map. Nice. So we'll definitely be returning to this at some point, as well as returning to our adventure to finding Master Koga. I think next time around though, uh, we'll mix things up a little bit. Uh, I, I wanna start going back to some of the older towns that we've gone to before to start working on side quests. So I think next episode we'll go to the Heber region, we'll go to Rito, Vill Rito Village. There's a lot of Rito quests there I've been meaning to get to. And then maybe while we're also there, we'll get some of the uh, Rito gear that we've been meaning to get. So lots to do of course, but we'll get started with that in the next episode. So we're finally back here at Lookout Landing. It was a lot of fun exploring the depths and I definitely want to get back on that hunt of finding Master Koga soon, but I figure it'd be nice to sort of break it up, not to have like a bunch of episodes in a row just constantly exploring the dark depths. So next time around, of course, we'll go up to, like I said before, the Heber region and try to get some Rito Village quests done. And then after that, we'll go back to the depths to try to find Master Koga once more. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.